welcome back to my channel. I'm Emily and this is Scribbles from Emily. And today I'm going to show you my spring capsule wardrobe. Wardrobes. The idea behind a capsule wardrobe is that you have a set, smaller, kind of a curated number of items in your wardrobe that you wear for a specific amount of time. Every season I go through and shop my closet, pull out items that I want to wear, maybe some things that I haven't worn for a while but I held on to, and see how I can mix and match to make the most outfits possible from a small number of pieces. I should explain briefly to just fast fashion as we have today where companies are coming out with new styles non-stop. There used to be set seasons of fashion where new styles will come out but now it's just there's just this unquenchable machine creating more and more stuff and the fashion industry as a whole is full of environmental issues and also on the labor side of things a lot of unethical practices low wages bad working conditions always trying to get that dollar lower so relying on a lot of slave labor or very poorly paid labor so that's what kind of led me into the ethical fashion journey originally the other reason i do capsule wardrobes is because it makes it so easy to get dressed in the morning. <laughs> so I could be pretty happy, I've realized, wearing a uniform, like a t-shirt and jeans every day. Having a capsule wardrobe allows me to kind of do that in a more creative way, in a way that's fun and not overwhelming and stressful when I try to get dressed in the morning so I can spend more of my time as a mom doing important things. As a stay-at-home mom, I need a mix of like comfortable clothes and a few cute outfits for going out and doing things some things I want to feel pulled together even when I'm working from home or some days I want to feel like I'm wearing pajamas but not actually wearing pajamas so I've got a mix of things like that. So four tips for creating your own capsule wardrobe. The first is to start with inspiration. So I like to go on Pinterest, search for spring styles and trends pin pictures that speak to me. I My style is generally pretty classic and less on the trendy side, but I like to mix in some fun things once in a while. So I'll create a Pinterest board for that and pull a bunch of ideas. And from there, you can look at items in your closet or you can keep them in mind and even pull it up on your phone when you're at the thrift store or shopping. The next step is picking our items and there's no set number for a capsule wardrobe. Generally speaking, most people say it's around 30 items. If you're a person that likes a lot of variety or needs a lot of variety, if, um, like if you work full time, etc., you might err more on the side of like close to 40 items. If you are like me and you tend to kind of like to stick to the same things all the time, you might be lower, closer to 20 items. Anywhere within that range is fine. Any, if it starts getting to 50 or more, then it's probably not a capsule wardrobe anymore <laughs> and you might need to pare down some. This of course doesn't include workout clothes, pajamas, any special occasion things like if you have a wedding coming up and you didn't pull a fancy dress in your capsule wardrobe you can get one from your closet and that's fine. There's no capsule wardrobe police that are going to come and smack your hand for doing that. The third thing is color coordinating. So this makes it really easy to mix and match. I personally love blue, so I have lots of blue in my capsule wardrobe, and I love stripes. That makes it pretty easy for me because I know what colors I like and what patterns I like. And a while back I gave up on the idea of trying to incorporate colors, a multitude of colors into my wardrobe because I just never wore those items. So I know what I like. That makes it easy to mix and match. And then number four, see what works and have fun. So every time I build a capsule wardrobe, there's some outfits that I had planned that I never end up wearing, or I realized that that certain pair of shoes is not comfortable, or that top didn't fit me as well as I thought it did, etc. 
So as you go through the process, you'll figure out what things you like and what things you really don't like. And that will just help you make more informed choices going forward as you shop and as you build your next season capsule wardrobe. All of that said, let's get into the pieces that I chose for this spring. So number one, I have this t-shirt. It says grace upon grace upon coffee and it is super cute. It's from a little uh, shop that I can link to. It's a mom owned shop. And then these jeans that I got from the consignment store. This belt I also got from the consignment store. I have to wear a belt with all of my jeans because they're always falling down. If you have that problem too with your jeans always gapping and falling down around the top, let me know in the comments below because it is a big problem and it's really hard to find jeans that fit. And then also my shoes. I'll show you real quick. I have these gold glitter toms that were a limited edition toms and I bought these off of eBay and I love them. Then I've got two pairs of shorts here. Both of these are from the consignment store. This is a pair of J. Crew shorts. They're like a light blue color and a really nice texture. Then I've also got these denim shorts. These plain denim shorts with a little cuff. They're really soft and stretchy. I've already worn them a couple of times and really, really like them. Then, because you never really know what the weather's going to do in spring, as you can see the lighting keeps changing with the sun going behind clouds. So I've got tank tops as well as sweaters in here because you just got to be prepared. So. For tank tops, I have this one that I've showed you before on one of my favorites videos. This one's from a local company here in New York called Drift Design Co. And it's run by a friend of mine. It's super soft and comfortable. It's great for taking the kids to the park or those days that when I'm working where I want to feel like I'm in pajamas but not actually in, be in pajamas. This shirt was uh, one of my prizes. <laughs> I got it in Florida after running the half marathon. And I love the copper rose gold lettering and also this font is super cute. So it says run all the miles, drink all the rosé, and I really love that shirt. It's super soft also. And then lastly I have this shirt. It's pink with these gold sequins on it. This is from Old Navy from ages and ages ago. It's seriously probably five years old maybe and it's still going strong so good work old navy. Next of course you're very familiar with these. My trusty overalls. So I'm loving wearing these now in spring. Um, they're a little cold for winter but they're great for spring. They look really cute with a tee underneath or even like one of these longer sleeve shirts. Yeah, they're just super cute and comfortable and I love all the pockets. And then I have some colored pants too. These are also from Old Navy. These uh, go back to my days of full-time working and I needed, to, um, well, needed. I wanted some more color in my work clothes. So these are Old Navy pants. Uh, some of their, these are pixie is the cut and they're kind of short like cropped length. This goes great with a plain t-shirt like this to kind of dress it up or a pattern shirt. Um, it would even go great with like a casual tank top. On the warmer side we've got this sweatshirt. This is from Drift Design also and it says home body on it in embroidery. It's ridiculously soft and cozy and it's perfect for gray, cloudy, rainy days, which we have a lot of. Also for chilly days, I've got this long black sweater. This is also an old navy one that I've probably had like 10 years. It's ancient and it has a little hole by the pocket, but I love it so much because it has pockets, which is great. And it's a longer length. So let me show you. This looks really cute thrown on 
whipping up an outfit like this with a t-shirt that's tucked in and jeans but um, because it's black it goes with just about everything in my capsule wardrobe. Then this is a striped shirt that is from Splendid. It's made in the USA and I bought this on ThreadUp. If you haven't heard of ThreadUp, it's a, like a giant online thrift store where you can go on and buy some stuff from really great brands. It's got these really cute buttons that go up the back and it's kind of a three quarter length sleeve if you can see that. Then I've also got this floral tank top. I love this shirt. It's so pretty with this bright blue and the pink flowers. It's so springy. Normally I wouldn't go for something that has a pattern this bold but Stitch Fix actually put this in my fix once and I decided to keep it and take a risk and I'm really glad I did because I always love wearing it and I get lots of compliments when I do and it mixes and matches really well with I mean I can wear it with just jeans or it looks really good with these pink pants um, it looks super cute with these shorts when it gets even warmer out another one I think I got from Stitch Fix is this blouse which is a favorite of mine. Uh, when I wear this, I always get compliments on this color. I think it just does something really nice for my skin tone and my eyes or something. Here is another one from ThreadUp. This one is Banana Republic. It's a gingham button-up shirt. This is really nice to even layer. Like I could wear it over this, and but it looks cute by itself too. To keep it from going too cowboy, I'll make sure I wear it with some kind of preppy, cute shoes. Um, and then it looks really pretty with a nice statement necklace, too. And my chambray shirt here is an old favorite of mine and a classic that probably everyone should have in their wardrobe. This is from Old Navy, also from few years ago. Two years ago I bought this and i worn it non-stop since. This I really like to layer over things too. I've worn it layered over this t-shirt quite a bit but it's also great by itself. It looks really cute with the pink pants so it's not denim on denim because I'm not like a huge fan of that look. Then for dresses I have two in my capsule wardrobe because my life doesn't call for me to wear a lot of dresses other than to church and probably no one's gonna notice it if I switch between these two and like a dressier outfit once in a while. So this is a shirt, uh, a shirt dress that I got from the consignment store. It's J. Crew, and um, you can see it's just kind of a chambray shirt dress. It has a little polka dot pattern to it, and it's really really cute. I like that a lot, and it's very comfortable. As is this t-shirt dress from, you guessed it, Old Navy. It has a little bit of pink in the flowers in the navy and it's also ridiculously comfortable. It feels like wearing pajamas. For my body shape, with both of those dresses, they're kind of straight and so I always cinch it in with a belt. Lastly, in the springtime, you need a good jacket. This jacket I got from Stitch Fix. brand is Market and Spruce. It's got a hood that you can actually zip off, which is nice, and lots of pockets. I had specifically asked them for one in this style, kind of this army jacket look, and I really love this. It's really cute on, and it's pretty lightweight because it's, it's not low end or anything, but um, it's also fairly warm, and great for all our rain. Accessory wise, I have two hats. So I have this fedora that I bought in an alley in LA for $5. I was shopping in the fashion district with my sister-in-law, Andrea, and we found um, in this little alley with all these little booths selling clothes and fabric and all kinds of random things, makeup. So I bought this hat. This was many, many years ago and I still wear it all the time. It's a little worse for wear, but I love it. 
So I wear that when I want to feel a little bit chic and spooky. And then this is my very casual hat that has a logo from our uh, the church we used to go to in Arizona. That's kind of my go-to. Picking up Edison from school and running around town. I have this pair of loafers. These are from the consignment store. And I don't know if I showed you them before in a different thrifting video, but they are Talbot's brand and they were basically new. And they're not exactly like the same color of pink as everything else, but I think they add a nice little pop to an outfit. And then these I definitely showed you. These are Sam Edelman loafers. And these are cute for when I want to make an outfit just to feel a little bit more chic and kind of hipster. And then for really warm days, I have sandals, of course. These are Roxy brand sandals that I bought in San Diego for a trip. And they are surprisingly really comfortable and also really cute. If I pick up any new stuff through thrifting, I'll let you know. And you'll see it in one of my thrift hauls for sure. But for now, these are the pieces that I've got and where I'll be sticking with the spring. If you'd like to see how I mix and match these and kind of my outfits over the course of a week, let me know in the comments below and I can definitely make that video for you too. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. another springtime thing. I am a big fan of this color and the kind of poofy texture. <laughs>